they're wearing helmets that have to keep their eye on the ball so that they can duck properly. If you go in the back, that's probably the angle then on the helmet. You gave it the opportunity to get through the gap. Immediately, right first slip, rough and dry, but he knew that there was trouble straight away. He just immediately forced the ball to push with the one that uh, It's a shake-up one. That would have hurt. The bells will be ringing. Thank goodness for the modern helmet. He's not feeling all that well. It's in the side of the head. Maybe at the juncture between the helmet and the visor. Did it actually hit the skin? The ball could have forced part of it, part of its way through there. Won't that be huge if we could get that on Super Slow Mo Extreme? That will be ugly. For 62, the West Indies have got, I think, 62 runs. It's been a bonus. We shouldn't waste this good work that's been done. We're already at 62 after 12 overs. Even if New Zealand had batted better and shown better process and better technique on that first day, there probably still would have been a result in that game that might have taken four and a half days. Oh! It's hit him. Oh! He's down. Hopefully all right. Didn't quite bounce. He's got him in the side of the helmet. I think it's knocked him around a little bit. Yeah, he's got to take a moment or two here. In fact, they might take an early tee here. They might just take an early tee, and I think they've got reason to do that. That was nasty. That was really nasty, and I tell you that on his head. Back of his head. And so... That to me, you know, you, it, it flies. If it glances backwards, it means it doesn't get the full impact. But there, right there, gets the full impact, and it flew. It absolutely flew for a long way. Yeah, and he doesn't. He doesn't have that back of the helmet there. That that black padding that the newer helmets have. The really best players don't take their eye off the ball. And so uh, Neil Wagner knew a straight. He was the first. <laughs> Move here. Now that's hit him hard. I'll tell you what, that's hit him hard. And he's cutting off, he doesn't want any more of that. Speed bounce is full on this. That is full on. I have a feeling there might be uh, some damage to one of the teeth there, as if one came out on impact. has done its job. Imagine what the consequences would have been without it. When John Bunter from Morecambe, please go to reception, which you'll find just behind the pavilion. John Butler. What he's got to do here is take as much time as is necessary to decide whether he wants to carry on. He's, he's most vulnerable for that next delivery. There's a tooth missing. He's going to obviously be in a lot of pain. Well, the pain will probably come a bit later on, but at the moment the adrenaline's pumping. You won't feel too much, but... Well, it only says 84 miles an hour, but it was quick enough for Barker. Well, he's worn one there, Keith Barker. Alfonso Thomas immediately just saying to him, you're OK, he's hitting straight on the grill. Took one there, full on. Oh, he's got lucky there. Just look at this. It goes so close to the gap between the visor and there. Jeez. So easily could have crept through, and he knows it. A few times. Or? Well, we I played without helmets for a long time, and then I must have had a couple. Yeah. I got one without helmet. Bob Cotton straight in the face. Walk up next week. And Jackie Hendricks got a dreadful blow. I really thought he was dead. Uh, I saw his legs kick and his arms fly around the air. It was a dreadful sight. One international to break. And uh, he bought a four over spell initially. He's around the wicket now, which he loves doing to left handers. Oh, goodness me. That is a nasty one. Wow, that is hitting. That is uh, very, very nasty. The shot up does down there very quickly. Mohan Khan is there as well. They're asking for the change room, and that is not great. That is horrible for Gary Kirsten. 
Goodness me, that was uh, around the wicket and there was a ferocious delivery. It's very, very quick indeed. Gary Kirsten getting into the trouble once the fast bowler decided to come around the wicket and test him with the short pitch deliveries. It's a different angle and if you see Gary Kirsten's footwork, he shuffles in the crease too much. And that's an okay technique if you're looking to face the fast bowler over the wicket, not around the wicket, and that was nasty. And uh, hopefully, for Gary Kirsten and South Africa's sake, this is not very serious. Oh, got him in the helmet, I think. Stuck down, took his eye off it. He'll be okay. Well, I was just about to say that he was keeping his eye on the ball very well. That drive was uh, fantastic. But um, you can now see, uh, because, uh, oh, and this one, look, this is going to hit him right in that temple area. Is it? Or just behind the ear. Oh, it's not good. Right there. That uh, that makes a, a really big noise and uh, just knocks you around a little bit. Oh, and look how it uh, knocked the uh, helmet around as well. This is just incredible. Now, they're going to have to check the cleaning. I think the ball is still stuck in the grill. Yeah, this one's gone through. This is nasty. This is not nice. It looks like the ball has gone through and hit him in the in the mouth. It looks like uh, there's damage being done. This is not good at all. Yeah, it was the off cutter. Oh, through that gap, through that gap, and I think it has uh, hit him on the temple. Pieces flying off. Yeah, a lot of players like that gap, don't they, between the peak and the, the top rail of the of the cage or the grill as they call it quite wide for seen through but that's the risk you take it's gone through it's hit him in the eye so he's going to end up with quite the shiner but he's fine he's up he's walking but yeah through that gap not nice and the ball got stuck in there Huge round of applause for him as he walks off, and fairly rightly so as well. It just collected him on the side of his uh, helmet, the wire bit. On the side of the grill or the ball itself driven into the air. Saraf Ganguly has declared Raul Dravid has been injured so he's going off with uh, 91 against his name. Congratulations from the Australians for Raul Dravid and for Sachin Tendulkar as well. 91 to Raul Dravid and 60 to Sachin Tendulkar. Wow. It's hit his helmet and they're just... Uh... This is hitting fair on the side of the helmet in a normal stance. Well, oh boy. And back onto the stumps. The question is the height, and this is all you can consider. It's gone above shoulder height and hit him about the ear. And he's going. Adam Ferrari's on his way. They've had their chat, the umpires, and they've decided. Now that's gone back onto the stumps. It's ripped the strap open, broken the Hit him on the back of the helmet. He's down. Chandapol is floored, cracked him right on the back of the helmet, Lee's down there, the first man. Might just be unconscious here. Cracked on the back of the helmet, he went down. <sighs> down right away. Yeah, I reckon he was out. Just about as it hit him. Him on the back of the head, and I reckon he's out there. Where am I? What's the score? More importantly, how many? How many am I? He's 86. Not a oh, it's pinned him. 
That's going to hurt. Hit him on the head. Just as well he had a helmet, the bowler. As the batsman, Stark is a tall fellow. And uh, Sadik just took his eyes off the ball. He's trying to duck that, just hoping that won't hit him. He's always in the line. Oh, crikey. He's really being tested out here. Really being tested out here. What has that come off? Everybody's walking around wondering. It's just as well this lead was. Wear a helmet. Where's this come from? Yeah. It sounds like glove, helmet. But it doesn't stop him advancing down the wicket. Okay, the risk,